Hey everyone. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna try to fix this uh, Corvette, the uh, right on car. The uh, battery is dead. If you look online, there's a lot of people having problems with the battery. Because uh, you know, if you forget to remove the charger, it overcharges and it kills the battery. And so I, I, this is the original battery, just took it off from there. Uh, and this is the new one I got from eBay for $24 plus free shipping. So it's a, uh, sorry about the noise in the background. It's a little bit smaller on the top side, but it fits nicely on the compartments, as you can see. Back there, it fits really good. So it's not gonna go anywhere. And the bracket right here. So it's not really gonna fly up, so you should lock this down. Okay, now I'm gonna. I'm, there's some. Uh, there's an instruction online how to do it. I'm just gonna follow that instruction. I'm gonna buy the parts. Probably gonna go to Radio Shack and get it. And I'm gonna start cutting this out. Come back and install the other components that goes with it. All right. I wish there was a way. You no, know, it would have been better if I, if there was a way to remove this thing and put it on top of here but I don't know I don't want to uh, I don't see I don't see any online manual how to remove the cover on this one because you know, I would rather use this one again but since uh, there's no uh, safe way to doing doing it or uh, no one has done it so I'm not gonna be the first one for to, to do that I'm scared okay All right, I'm gonna get the parts and cut this and start videoing Hopefully it'll work. Okay, thank you. Right. I went to the auto parts store. I got me a fuse holder, a crimp connector, and a 40 watt amp fuse. All right, so I'm gonna start cutting it, and hopefully it'll work. Okay, first I'm gonna try the fuse holder. Make sure I get the right, the right one, the right size. Okay, right size. Okay. Black. Okay, this is the uh, size of the grip is one fourth. This, this is one fourth here. So it's one fourth, and this is uh, 16 gauge, and uh, this is 12. So I messed up on that one, but it's okay. To me, you know. So I'm gonna put them together. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna connect the this one with uh, this connector. I don't know if you call this bad connector or something. Anyway, some people don't like it because it's thing. It uh, there's something about resistance. There's power going in. Anyway, uh, I don't know if it's better to solder them or, or use this one, whatever. But this one I have right now, so I'm just gonna use it. Okay, uh, I, I did it. Now I'm just gonna tape it. Make sure it doesn't come off. Extra protection for me. Okay, I'm just gonna put electrical tape on it. Okay, I'm done taping it. Now we're gonna put the black. 
black here. I should put red tape over here just in case. Black here. And hey, don't close it. And red here. Now let's see. Let me start the car. Can you press power door K pops? Yeah, it's working! High five, k pops high five! Where's my high five? Thank you! You wanna try it on? Now, I, I don't know if you can use this. Uh, it, this thing just came from the mail today and I don't know if it's supposed to charge it or not. Can, uh, oh, the lights are on too. And the problem is I don't have any uh, that trickle charger that the, to charge this yet, so. Uh, I'm gonna test it anyway. Why not? So let me clap that in and she's gonna drive it. Okay, pops, hold on. I think there's about a three four inch gap in here. So you might have to put something here. I know. Okay, close that thing. <laughs> Go ahead, just drive it. Can you? What do I have to do everything? Okay. Well, this is the test drive with a new battery. Oh, it actually works again. Put the, um, it is really... It's bursting through. That's good. Okay. It works. Alright guys, uh, hope it helps someone else save some money. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.